a YouTuber named Justin Martinez is recording some planes near his house when he notices one of the planes has extremely sporadic flight patterns, almost as if it is stalking the other one. Then this happens out of nowhere. The plane is suddenly scooped up and fully disappears. When you zoom in and slow down, you can see it's probably not a plane, but rather a UFO. It flies up and away from the scene at a high rate of speed. I think this video might be CGI because it does look a little grainy. Other people in the comments section, however, have proposed that it's everything from flying insects to the same thing that took down the Malaysian Flight 370 not too long ago. Mutations are not an uncommon occurrence amongst calves, but they are rare enough where witnessing one might surprise you. This calf was born in Villa Ana, Argentina in September of 2019, and it did indeed surprise its owners, as it appeared to have a human face. The calf was born with a malformed skull, a small nose and mouth, and had difficulty holding its head up. It passed away with Within hours of this video, but farmers shared the footage online, sending the video viral. Speaking to local media, genetics expert Nicholas Menego said the calf might have possessed a rare genetic mutation. Similar incidents have been captured on video across the world, with a two-headed calf with features to boot, two mouths and four eyes, in India earlier in 2019. Although not too unusual from a biological standpoint, I think we can all agree that looking into the sad-looking eyes of this calf after knowing what happened to it takes courage. This video of urban exploration published by Backyard Exploration in January 2015 is particularly eerie because what's scarier than than dark, damp tunnels and nowhere to turn. In the video description, Backyard Exploration writes, As the city grew, much of the underworld was sealed and forgotten. We infiltrate the sewers in search for this lost history. Unlike many entries on this list, these guys mean business. They are decked out with gear, headlamps, ropes, and safety equipment for sewer exploration, and they will need it. The underground is a dangerous place, and if you're claustrophobic, the tight spaces might give you screaming anxiety. Even worse, if you're squeamish, you might want to sit this one out, as there's loads of wadding through raw sewage. The exploration shows the bricked underbelly of the sewage system, along with the sewer rats that scurry across the ground and up the walls. Water trickles down from above as the team continues to trapeze through the dark tunnels. The team crawls and climbs through narrow channels to make sure no stone is left unturned, and at one point, they even walk waist deep in sewage water, which is sometimes calm, sometimes rushing. In some areas, there are massive amounts of cockroaches skittering across the ceiling of the tunnel. All in all, it's pretty much every phobia imaginable in one. As After Dark said in the comments, this is the stuff that nightmares are made of. This tunnel. But fortunately, this nightmare does come to an end. As the video concludes, they exit the sewage tunnel to breathe fresher air and see daylight again. Something is active in this quiet home. Published by Memoria Sobrenatural Inc. in April of 2022, the paranormal investigator searches this haunted place, and it seems like an unknown entity is searching him right back. And then the entity grows aggressive after coming across stacked chairs in one of the rooms. They collapse before the man's very eyes. He then witnesses a faucet turn on by itself. It flows full blast. As the ghost hunter tries to catch some sleep, what looks like a mattress falls against the wall. Later, he encounters this shadow figure in the hallway. 
and then another lurking in the corner of a room. Is something hiding in this curtain behind him? Before you start to panic, nah, just go ahead and panic. It's the time for it. <sighs> Shand Ali Jot is a ghost hunting fashion model with a YouTube channel based out of Pakistan. Look what happens moments after he is caught on camera getting chills. <laughs> A low-flying bat distracts them long enough to turn their back to a boarded-up window. Something bangs on this barricade from the other side. They stand in the center of the room more than an arm's length away from everything in sight. The ghost always seems to wait until their back is turned before it throws open a door or a window. They put a scroll in front of the fireplace, and the evil spirit sets the parchment on fire out of disapproval. The way it goes out is just as unnatural as the way it begins. None of them did anything to cause this that I can see. It's as if it spontaneously combusted. As they examine the door, this YouTuber is thrown into the wall by a paranormal force. It doesn't look like he jumped into the wall either. His head is up and his arms are down as if he's being held by the neck. As he lays gasping on the ground, one of their cameras captures the fireplace silently roaring back to life like it's feeding off of their fear. Meanwhile, this final ghost sighting is caught on tape in the far corner of the room. It might be edited, but based on all of the other creepy paranormal evidence, I wouldn't be surprised if it was real. A paranormal investigator named Paravent posted this video of their daughter, who they think may have attracted a spirit of her own. She raises the camera to show nobody is in there, and the corner is indeed empty. But when she thinks it's over, the spirit lets her get through just a little more of the song, and then moves the chair again. The chair isn't fully visible, so it could be staged because anybody could have moved it at the bottom, but when I first saw this, I thought it kind of looked like someone was pulling up a chair to hear her play, and that was before I read the many different comments saying the same thing. So is this fake, or really someone watching from the other side? When a poltergeist displays his candor over a period of several days, you gotta see it for what it is, a permanent unwanted house guest. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, this video shows a series of poltergeist activities occurring in this couple's kitchen. On day 4, the salt and pepper shaker sitting on the kitchen countertop start to move slightly. Then the salt falls over altogether. On day 8, the couple is in the kitchen. The woman is cooking something and sets the hand blender on the counter. It's turned off. She goes to the fridge to retrieve an egg and this happens. She drops the egg in fright, while the man calmly turns off the blender. On day 24, the man enters his kitchen to get a glass of water. His back turned to the stove, one of the burners suddenly turns on of its own accord. A pan on the stove slowly slides over to the lit burner, again all on its own. The man just stands there drinking his water, watching this happen. He takes two eggs from the fridge and sets them on the counter, inviting the poltergeist to cook. 
Maybe this is the best way to go about living with a poltergeist. Just accept that you have a third, somewhat mischievous roommate. This exclusive video was submitted by a redditor named Babe of the Dead on the Chills Narrator subreddit. While lying in bed making a random video, she hears four knocks late at night. She looks up in time to see her life-sized stuffed bear apparently come to life. The bear is square against the wall with no room for anyone to sit behind and move its arm. Some people say it's a spirit. Well, one person suggested that a person could fit inside if they took out the stuffing. Which is super creepy considering Babe of the Dead has no idea who it could have been. Who do you think it was? I have no idea aside from astoundingly scary. Would you follow a ghost into the woods? Published by the channel Ghost Hunting. This ghost hunter has found exactly what he's been looking for. Driving down a road at night, the ghost hunter sees a figure wearing white up ahead. The figure's robe is fluttering as it walks forward. The man lays on his horn and continues driving toward it. The robed figure looks like it's running, but when the ghost hunter beeps again, it stops. It then continues running. The man parks and gets out of his vehicle as the robed figure stops. Up close, it looks like a headless figure with broad shoulders. The mysterious white-clad entity then runs into the woods, and the man races back to his vehicle. Was this figure a ghost, a headless horseman, or just some strange prank in the middle of the night? Central State Insane Asylum in Indianapolis has many secrets. Published to YouTube by D Holmes 12345 in October of 2006, this is an orb video. But hold up, don't change the video. While well, a lot of the times orbs caught on video appear to be faint and dust like, this one is different. The large glowing orb is seen behind a fence at the end of a walkway. The orb hovers and then starts floating to the right. As the man filming backs away, startled, some in the comments are all in, saying this is what a legit orb looks like. Others are convinced it's a light reflecting off of something. Others note that, while you're distracted by the orb, something peeks out at the door at the beginning of the video. Watch again, do you see it? Considering these two figures appear in just 14 seconds of video, it's pretty clear this asylum is a hotspot for paranormal activity. A spirit pulls a member of the YouTube team, Kaza Sabre Natural, down a staircase in this scary video. Upon first entering the haunted place, they hear something, and they discover a rope tied to a wooden beam overhead. A gente acabou de escutar os passos ali. Calma, Dor. Tá, tá, tá muito iluminado ali, acho que não. Normal. E a corda continua aqui, aquela corda, cara, que tinha aqui, ó. Credo, Parecia sabe? que uma pessoa tava querendo se enforcar. Aí, aqui. Is that a noose? As they continue their search of the place, they hear a voice. Oh, escutou a voz aqui, ó. Olha lá. Escutou a voz? Credo, Sandro. They hear something again and start to head upstairs. But they soon wish they wouldn't have. What just dragged this crew member down the stairs? If it is indeed a spirit, I wouldn't be following it downward. It may be leading this team to the fiery depths below. A YouTuber named Frollo Moto is dirt biking in a random field with his friend Trevor when they see trouble ahead. We gotta go! There's a truck here. A black truck attempts to cut them off at the pass when they try to escape. Clearly, the driver wants to get them off their bikes however he can, and doesn't seem to care if they break a bone or lose their life. They both cut through some fields and eventually get back to the main road, quickly agreeing at a stop sign that they should head straight home. But then, just when they think they are safe... He's chasing us! Take the trail! Take the snowmobile trail! 
The truck spots them again and the chase is back on. Frollo, Moto and Trevor head full speed towards a narrow plot of land meant for snowmobiles. When he looks over his shoulder, he sees the truck is too large to squeeze through. They are safe for now, but hopefully the driver doesn't get out and follow their tire trails because it basically leads straight to their home. A YouTuber named The Star Breed notices a bright white object floating upwards and starts recording. The weird object somewhat looks like a street lamp, except it's way up in the air and seems to be heading in the Star Breed's direction at a fast rate of speed. Moments later, it is only a fraction of its original size and hovering directly overhead, twice as high as before. The Star Breed continues to record in total disbelief, not even so much as making a sound, just quietly zooming in. Just when it looks like the unidentified flying object is about to go away, it does something completely different instead. He records a brief strobe light effect and then the UFO is gone. Looking back at the footage, the star breed has little doubt that this was actually an abduction attempt on him that was aborted at the last possible second. I'm not sure if this was a real encounter or just CGI. As I said before, it almost looks like the UFO could be one of the street lamps edited. Take a look at the evidence again and let me know what you think really happened here. If you have a basement in your home, you might want to skip this creepy clip posted to TikTok by DinoNugget741. Something sinister is lurking in this dude's basement. At the beginning of the video, the guy lights something wrapped in his hand, which I assume is sage. Apparently, he already knows that there's an entity inside his home. Some banging is heard coming from the basement. <sighs> I'm not afraid, man. He addresses whatever it is creeping down there and holding his sage in front of him, opens the door to the stairwell. When he turns on the basement light, the figure steps out of view. The man then heads down to the basement and turns a corner to the large empty room, but nothing is there. You expect the hooded figure to pop out around every corner, but don't worry, there's no jump scare. You might want to worry about this though. When the man scans the room but finds nothing, you hear a strange laugh or cry coming from upstairs. It's not clear if someone else was home with the man at the time, or if that cry came from this creature. who has somehow managed to maneuver around him, sight unseen and dive upstairs. But any questions about that are answered when the man rushes back to the stairwell, only to have the upstairs door slammed in his face. Did this demon just trick him into giving up his turf? Looks like the tables have turned. A YouTuber named For Your Viewing Pleasure just keeps having paranormal problems caught on their outdoor camera. This ladder falls straight over for no reason at all, but you'll never guess what else. Motion sensor lights go off right before it happens. It must be a ghost or the wind. So the question is whether or not wind can set off motion activated lights. Apparently the answer is yes, but only if the sensitivity option is set too high. Since we don't know what this camera settings were, we don't know what was caught on tape, but all I do know is this would be freaky to see outside of my house, that's for sure. In this video by Nathan Hughes, published this year, the YouTuber's dog Molly is visibly trembling as it stares off into space, huddled in fear on the sofa. What's wrong? What are you looking at? What is it? Molly? What is it? Are you okay? When asked if she wants a biscuit, Molly just looks over and goes back to staring and trembling at whatever she's seeing, completely ignoring the biscuit that her owner set on the pillow beside her. She is staring towards the door near the kitchen, shaking nervously when the owner tells her to eat her treat, nudging it closer to her mouth. She just continues staring in frozen fear. Then the owner walks around the front, facing the dog, asking what she's looking at but she doesn't move a muscle. He closes the door to see if anyone is standing behind it. No one, nothing is there. Throughout the entire video, Molly refuses to listen to her owner. Maybe the paranormal vision she saw made her lose her appetite 
or left her in so much fear that she is unable to move. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Blake Newdorf is fishing with his dad on a pier in Kelowna, BC when he sees a giant creature off in the distance, at least 60 feet according to his estimate. Blake is sure that this is the famous Ogopogo Lake Monster. Apparently, it has some kind of sharp scales from what he says here at 1 minute and 13 seconds. It looks like it has spikes. The camera is not good enough to pick up much detail aside from a basic outline. I think it kind of looks like it could be a piece of driftwood, but I guess at 60 feet long it would have to be a whole tree. Whatever it is, it floats around the bend where the water channels into a small bay. According to Blake, when they went around the corner to follow it, it was suddenly gone. Unfortunately, by that point, they had for some reason stopped recording. If what they are saying is true though, then this couldn't have been driftwood. This video shows evidence of the terrifying unknown, as strange lights were captured in the Tokyo sky on June 26, 2020. Some suggest the lights are not those of unidentified flying devices, but rather of Starlink, SpaceX's satellite constellation, which is being built with the aim to provide nearly worldwide internet access by 2022. These low Earth orbit satellites are mass produced and work with ground transceivers. Could that be nothing but a project by Elon Musk? Others suggest it's simply air traffic approaching the airport. Reddit or Bacon for life writes, While it is spooky, when there's a bit of a traffic jam to come into the airport, aircraft turn their landing lights on quite high and far out so that it's easy for the tower to identify each of them. Still a good spooky video though. Do you agree with these assertions? Or is this just another thing they don't want us to see? This video published by Chop Levaya in April of 2015 will demonstrate why it's not wise to mess with farmers. Choplavaya wrote, Always be sure to ask for permission before flying over someone's property. Found out the hard way what happens. He went on to say that the drone was in police evidence and they were going to court over the incident. This isn't the first time nor the last that drones have become entangled in controversy over privacy issues property rights and the right to self-defense. The question remains, do you have the right to take down a drone if it is hovering over your property? One man found out the hard way that laws haven't caught up with technology quite yet. When he fired at a drone and took it down in his own backyard, what do you think? Was this man justified in taking down this invasive drone? Apparently, ghosts like peering out of windows, because here's another creepy phantom showing up when you least expect him. This YouTuber captured this ghostly white figure staring out of the upper window of a nearby brick building. She posted the footage to YouTube in June of 2010, explaining that she took the video on her cell phone while playing on the green. She writes, We saw a face in the window of a locked room. Kieran, the manager, took us up to look afterwards, but there was nobody there and the room is out of use. Couldn't sleep after I took this. As mentioned, Demi was taking the video of some guys playing catch on the lawn when one of them spotted the figure in the upper window, alerting Demi to the terrifying watcher. She zooms in on the window to catch the pale face of a young boy in the lower left corner. The figure slowly moves out of view. The remainder of the video shows the group climbing the stairs to see who is watching them from the upper room. When they arrive there, it's empty and looks as though it has been for years. There's graffiti on the walls and it appears no one lives there. Many in the comments call the video unsettling, noting that's not how a person moves. Ghost or not, I wouldn't want to run into this boy anywhere, let alone in this room. Maybe you aren't paranoid, but you might be followed. Published by Jasco in June of 2021, this is part 8 in a series of Randonautica experiences over several days. Jasco and his crew are using the app down in Florida State. During their Randonautica tour, they find an old sofa in the forest. But, uh, Wendy's? What we're here for is this. Yeah. After some coaxing, Jasco lifts a mysterious item that's tucked into its cushions. That's like a video game or something. What the hell? 
it an iPod? Yeah, it's one of the old iPhones. <gasps> no. That's Why is it like in saran wrap? Oh, yeah. Wait. That item turns out to be an old iPhone saran wrap to the letters C and F. Feel a little bit safer. It is an iPhone. Look at that. iPhone. iPhone Bro, I always wanted they had like a coral one. That's so weird. Okay. What? Oh, we just found a phone in the middle of nowhere. I know, that's super old. They try to turn the iPhone on, but its battery is empty. Later on the mission, Jasko says Chris has been hearing something all day, and now he hears it too. Like, where else could it be? I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Yo, like, what would literally, it be? hold on, hold on. Can we talk about something quick? You've been hearing things like all day long. Like, you're like, bro, what is that? Like, I hear like some type of beeping. A beeping sound. Jen finds its source. What? It's a tile I, tracker, bro. That's one of those little... A tile tracking device. She says she found it in between the middle console. They run it over, but it's still functioning. Hold on, I'm gonna... All this time they were being tracked. Someone was in their rental car the day before and planted it. But who? My guess is someone with ill intentions. A girl and the person filming were innocently playing around outside, but they were not alone. Published to YouTube in May of 2019, nightmares abound after watching this video, which is gaining attention in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The clip shows a girl playing with a ball outside a yellow fenced-in building. She runs up to the fence, behind which a pair of swings are wrapped together in knots. After a moment, the girl points at something, or someone behind the camera person, who turns around to see what she's indicating. There is no one in the distance across the field, but there is someone right behind her. The ghoul of a girl appears semi-transparent as the camera shot falls. We can only imagine the camera person fled in fear from this thing she was not meant to see. Tag, you're it. Game over. This miniature forest figure has viewers puzzled. Posted on TikTok by Satpam Horror, a small Barbie-sized creature was captured walking at the edge of the forest. Watch closely. Ada tuyul, gila, gila. The figure looks just like a human in miniature. What is it though? I'm not sure what this humanoid creature could be, but its movements do not look animated, and it seems to blend well with the setting. Any ideas? Leave them in the comment. Whatever is keeping this family awake is worse than a nightmare. Published by Amma Media Channel in April of 2022, a woman is sleeping on a couch when strange things start to happen around her. A tricycle slowly wheels itself backward, then it launches forward taking a wide turn. It's so loud. What's most surprising is that the woman doesn't wake up. Next, one side of the couch that she's sleeping on is lifted completely off the ground. Now lying at a 45 degree angle, the woman only wakes up when the couch slams back down on the floor. It still takes her a moment to rise, even when the couch is lifted a second time. She then climbs off and runs away. The woman returns to the room with a male resident, explaining what happened. They don't arrive at any conclusion as to the cause, but the man lays down on the couch to rest. Not long after, a mysterious head appears close to the security camera. Later, as the man struggles to sleep, a creepy figure appears in the window. The faceless figure is wearing black gloves and seems to be trying to get in. The sleeping man spasms uncontrollably, but it's unclear what is going on. Is the creep in the window casting a spell of some kind? The figure disappears and then the couch starts to lift again, as it did with the woman who was sleeping there. The man falls off the couch, wakes up and fires off.
He returns with a sword, but who will he battle? There's no one there. As he looks outside for his opponent, The faceless figure in the window greets him. What is this thing? As I said, it's worse than a nightmare. This paranormal activity was caught on a camera that's displaying an incorrect time. A YouTuber named For Your Viewing Pleasure thinks they have caught a ghost on video sometime around 3 a.m., not 1.24 like the camera says. Regardless, some creepy moments have been caught on tape as their home CCTV system plays back a bizarre ghost-like in front of the camera. Another thing that's weird besides the ghost is how the background goes totally black for six seconds and then even stays black for one second after the ghost is no longer caught on tape. For your viewing pleasure, says they hope this is a bug, even though they think it's probably paranormal. One person suggested that he has not caught a ghost sighting on video, but a moth instead. These creepy moments caught on camera from two to four seconds do look like possible wings in motion when slowed down, but I'm not sure what to think. Both sides have good arguments, so take one final look and tell me if this looks like a paranormal security video to you or not. In this scary video, Exploring with Josh explores the historic RRS Discovery, one of the most haunted ships in Britain. The team invites the spirits to speak, and they do in their own way. You can talk to us here now. That is creepy. I swear to God, there's someone walking around in there. I just saw a shadow. Bro, Are you serious? bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most. No, no, put the light on it. Well, that is the most. There's something room. inside there. I'm telling you now. Oh my. You what? Said, yeah, I saw a shadow playing as there. I believe you. Bro. They continue to communicate with this spirit. That device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? Oh my oh. god! You oh my god! That's f oh crazy. my god! You can't f that up. When they go and collect a recording device from that room, they hear the spirit's response to some of their questions. It is the yes, crew. Sir. It is the crew. Hang on. It is the crew. You can't your ass. As the presence intensifies, they hear footsteps. And you got it? And that, yeah. And that was after I heard the bed moving, bro. I'm telling you, there's somebody in this room moving. Right, we're going back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're sort of stood together? Where did it come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like a dash run that ah. went through there. Was that the captain again? With all of this paranormal evidence, I have to believe that the RRS Discovery still carries an immortal brew, but they are probably as cold as Antarctica. There's no trickery to this one, nothing paranormal, but we guarantee it will make some of you very scared. Posted to TikTok by Madison Bergia, the spider reunion on this ceiling is sure to send everyone out the door, leaving their shadow behind them. Madison captured this enormous mama spider and all her little spider babies just chilling outside, down right above her. Most commenters say they're moving to Mars, while LeRae fanpage writes that his anxiety went through the roof watching this. We're with you, Larry. If you haven't panicked yet, now's the time. Just kidding. A person thinks they see something strange dash in front of their car late at night on a dark road. A playback of the tape has their suspicions confirmed by a totally bizarre dash cam encounter caught on video. A fleeting figure standing under a street lamp runs out and disappears way too fast to be a human. He claims this video is unexplainable paranormal evidence, but I suspect it might simply be a trick of the light, not exactly a lens flare per se, because there is no sunlight to reflect 
intellect, or maybe that is the right term, but you know what I mean. Basically a ray of light bending towards him to create the illusion of a phantom ghost. So while there is definitely a light anomaly, I'm not exactly sure it's paranormal. Tell me what you think he's caught on tape, because it might be a reflection and nothing more. Security cameras often capture things we'd rather not see. This footage, posted by Redditor jhood3119, reveals a creepy-looking creature ambling in the vicinity of this upstate New York security camera. A friend installed a security camera because his dog kept freaking out for no reason, jhood writes. And it seems the dog was freaking out for a reason. As you can see, a figure passes into view, moving strangely and seemingly wearing a headlamp and holding a flashlight. But then, halfway across the snow-packed yard, the figure completely vanishes, although a flashlight beam still appears at the right side of the screen. What could this be? Will some in the comments of this thread consider the possibility of the supernatural, saying the figure's strange walking and eye shine is creepy and inhuman? but others are not having it. Human or paranormal, what do you think? Based on the dog's reaction, there's definitely something there. Smoke wafted through the yellow line train on January 12, 2015. While it filled the train, commuters waited over 35 minutes for help to escape. The cause is believed to have been an electrical issue in the tunnel. When the issue occurred, it forced commuters on the platform to evacuate. That's when train 302 pulled towards the platform and took off again. But it was so thick the train operator was blinded. He pulled to a stop in the tunnel. The train's fans were pulling smoke inside. And firefighters were only dispatched when they received a 911 call about 7 minutes later. Meanwhile, the passengers on the train could barely breathe and many got down on the floor. In the raw video of the train, you can see just how bad it is inside the wagon, and you can hear people cough, will most lie or squat on the floor. Over the intercom, they are told to remain calm and not to open the doors. Some called 911 to describe where the train was located, so that rescuers could be sent down. Out of the 380 people who were evacuated from the train, 86 were treated. Nine were treated outside the station and one passed away. Whoever shot this footage claims to have been filming back in 2008. They were exploring an abandoned house and decided to start filming after hearing a strange noise. It's a very short clip since it wasn't long before they were running out of the house screaming. Reviewing the footage again, you can clearly see that this is not an ordinary forest creature. Its front legs bend inwards as it runs, kind of like a human running on all fours. It doesn't appear to have much of a face, yet it can somehow make a terrifying scream. The humanoid appears to be ready for the cameraman as soon as he opens the door. It approaches aggressively, but also with a hint of caution, for it rushes at the cameraman at only half speed. It also doesn't seem to pursue him when he starts running, which means it's probably just claiming its territory and wants to be left alone. The YouTuber who uploaded this video says that this is not their only encounter with the creature. Another time, they were exploring the abandoned house with a friend and a knife. They peer into the house from the front yard and listen for any signs of the creature inside. They don't hear anything, so they decide to go further in to investigate. That's when they hear its disturbing warning cries. It sounds like a mix between a squealing pig and some sort of enraged dinosaur. The two quickly turn off their flashlights and remain quiet in the dark. Then they slowly get up and start sneaking away, but just when they think they are safe. What the heck is that? Oh, shoot, go! Shoot, shoot! Just get out of the house! Get out of the house! Just get back to the house! Just get back to the house! Jesus Christ. They run back full speed to their nearby home. When they review the footage, they vow to go back to the property the next day with guns, but they never got the courage to follow through. Since the monster never chased them in either video, perhaps it was just as uncertain of them as they were of it. A YouTuber named Stuart Drake says that he found this old VHS tape, which only had 1999 written on the side and nothing more. Someone is exploring an old schoolhouse all alone, presumably at the turn of the century. 
The video looks pretty ordinary, except for a few glitches like this one. Stuart Drake is checking out a small dead-end room when the deep rumbling sounds of electrical disturbance return. He turns around and comes face to face with something I'm not sure I even believe can be true. A lot of people swear that Slenderman is just a myth, but this video seems to say otherwise. If this tape is real and correctly dated, then this would mean Slenderman has been active for over 20 years. This next strange and possibly real ghost sighting video occurred after hours at the Maranba Boxing and Sporting Club in Australia. One CCTV security cam recorded this glowing apparition walk out from the bathroom right towards some of the gym equipment and then abruptly head off camera. It's not a bug walking across the camera because the figure assumes a more solid human form as the moments pass. If this is a paranormal being then I'm pretty sure it's no longer covered by a lifetime membership. All kidding aside, I think this ghost sighting might be real and it seriously creeps me out. A YouTuber named Matthew Van Hues is enjoying nature when he hears a loud voice of someone who apparently isn't. Listen to this part and tell me if you can literally hear the word help being said because I think I can. The sound quiets down and then switches over to something far less human. Skeptics think that this is some kind of wild animal, but I think I can hear English being spoken here, but I can't tell what. Maybe the words don't take me. Let me know what you hear. When he gets to the bottom off the cliff, nothing is there. Matthew waits for an hour and doesn't hear anything else, so he leaves whatever it was to take their final breaths. Home alone at night? This creeper might just be peering in the window at you. Originally posted to YouTube by group member Ariane Childress of VBE INC's channel. This image is sure to haunt you. A woman in her home films her dark window pane as it looks like a man is staring at her. Although the features are vague, the image reflected definitely looks like a face. The woman takes a few pics as well. The lurker disappears for a moment when her camera moves, but then he's back again leering. Reddit is mixed about this image, with some saying it's seriously creepy and others theorizing it can easily be explained. Redditor Crystal Siren wonders how the woman remains so calm, writing, If I saw that, I'd have to close the curtains immediately and been unable to sleep for days. However, New Vin suggests it's pareidolia. Pareidolia is when someone incorrectly sees objects they recognize in random shapes or patterns. For instance, seeing a face in the clouds. As many note, this looks like it's probably a reflection, being that whenever she moves, the face gets distorted or disappears. Whether it's pareidolia, a reflection, or something more nefarious, we'll never know. Real life lurker or not, you can't really blame this woman for looking over her shoulder. This video from Japan raises some big questions. And the biggest of all is who is the stranger in the house with this man? This video is aptly titled, Is It Following Him? And that question really needs an answer. This homeowner, who I presume is recording after mysterious events kept happening in his home, demonstrates what happens when he turns the lights off. Did you notice the human-shaped silhouette in the room with him? And this isn't just a one-off event. Whatever this is follows him in each room he goes, and it's the same size silhouette there each time. Is this a stalker, a ghost, or both? Whatever the case may be, the question of is it following him can be answered, and that answer is a definite yes. I think it's time to get out of that home while there's still time. Be sure to check out Fourth Wall's channel and they have English subtitles. Seeing something other than wild animals and nature in the forest is always creepy. So what if you saw this? James Jones published a creepy figure that he'd caught on video in the forest in June of 2012. 
He explained that he was currently making a homemade indie horror flick for which he wrote his own script. After setting up a prop ritual circle in the middle of the forest, based off of research for his film, he ran some rehearsals and then headed home. He returned the next afternoon to film more. That's when he spotted this figure. In his own words, I don't have any explanation on what it is. The reason why this is so weird is because this figure is exactly where I had created the ritual circle last night. When he returned with his camera that evening, the figure had disappeared. From afar, it appears like a hooded demon wearing a black robe. It's unmoving. Well, many in the comments believe it's just a tree or a stump, others wonder if the uploader was reaping the consequences of setting up a ritual circle in the forest. What do you think it is? A Facebook user in Tolompantla, Mexico is walking down the street when he discovers a missing section of a wall and takes a look inside. The hollow dungeon-like area is filled with what appears to be stacks of caskets. Whether the caskets were filled or not is anyone's guess. But the point is, why would this area be sealed away underneath a highway overpass? Also, why was this section of wall broken? Maybe it broke from the inside by someone trying to free themselves. Who knows what other secrets could be hidden under there? We've all encountered a Karen or two in our lives, but it's a rare occasion that we're faced with a Karen this far out of control. A ballistic individual was captured on video standing in the middle of an intersection, facing a bus, screaming at the top of her lungs. It's unclear what she's saying and why she's so angry, but what's become clear is that she's chosen to take her rage out on the bus. She targets the front window with her fist, shattering the glass. When she moves to the side door, what she's screaming is finally audible. She's telling someone to get off the bus. But whoever it is she's screaming at does not get off the bus, so she runs across the street, likely in order to escape prosecution for the damage done to public property. No further information could be found on this incident, so it's unknown what preceded the meltdown or followed it, if it was provoked, or why it escalated to this degree. Regardless, it seems like this went from 0 to 100 pretty quickly. Original footage. This video is, admittedly, hard to keep up with. The video is original footage from 1999 that was sent to a random station or address with no further information included. The quality is understandably low and glitches out several times. A general summary is that there's a group of what appears to be several teens drinking, chatting and playing games. One of the games that gets pulled out is the Ouija board. Things are fine at first and after playing with the board, a few clips pass and the doorbell rings. One boy, as well as the camera person, go to check the door and see no one is there. At first it seems like a case of ding dong ditch, but as they're standing at the front door, the bell begins to ring over and over again. The lights flicker as well and the camera glitches severely. After the terrifying incident, the group comes together to discuss what happened. Loud knocks can be heard from above or somewhere in the distance. The group travels through the house in several chopped up clips trying to locate the noise, but every time they're in one location, the noise can be heard in a different location. So, audience, whoever you are watching this, right now, I'm pretty much believing this house is haunted and I'm pretty much believing we're experiencing it. Yeah, a ghost situation. The group even attempts to climb into the attic before the doorbell begins ringing again. Hey man, again, see? How the f is that happening? Once they're all inside, the doorbell ringing and knocking begins again. Another sound can be heard which sounds like a scratching or clicking. What the f is that? What the f is that? 
A YouTuber named Mr. Technical Difficult and his friends are hanging out by a river. When they see an old abandoned cooler on the other side, they don't pay much attention to it at first. But after a while, they grow curious as to what could possibly be inside. Finally, they can't take the suspense anymore and decide to retrieve the floating container. What they find inside is troubling. Open the hatch! <laughs> they remove an excessive amount of masking tape and pop the lid only to see a black-eyed doll peering back at them. The creepy doll is dressed in red suspenders and its head is turned directly towards the camera. No one knows what to make of this unsettling discovery and they all stand around for a bit laughing nervously. To this day, the group has absolutely no explanation as to how or why this doll was sealed and sent down the river, or more importantly, who is responsible for this strange message. A YouTuber named Renee Chase slowly comes to the realization that her house is haunted as she watches a possessed lamp caught on tape in real time. This lamp about a month or so ago decided that it was going to do its own thing. As you can see. What's weird is how the lamp seems to contradict her statements whenever it can. I don't know, it's slowing down now that I'm videoing. But, but no, it's not. Someone in the comments points out that a touch lamp with a loose connection could be to blame. She hasn't responded in over four years. Though I think that if this is a touch lamp, then it stands to reason that a ghost could be tapping it. According to Renee, the light especially seems to go off if she is having an argument or any other emotionally charged conversation. So maybe this unexplained event really is paranormal. Sometimes when you're horsing around on TikTok, you capture something you'd least expect. Shannon Brianna claims to have caught a ghost on camera. The clip shows an animated avatar doing a little dance, excited to go to bed. But watch this picture in the mirror. A shadow crosses its path, making the otherwise innocent scene wholly unnerving. Was someone in the room with Shannon? Was that a shadow figure or just a regular old ghost? Whatever it is, not sure if I'd be so excited to go to bed after seeing a creepy shadow across my bedroom wall. A person cautiously follows a winding road at night using only the light on their phone to guide them. They sense danger on the right and look over. Nothing is there, but their feeling of being watched does not go away. So they look over again and that's when they make contact. A short creature with a portly body, atop long legs, does its best to escape the flashlight. At 1 minute and 36 seconds, we see that the overall grey colouring of the creature, when under the light, does match the rest of the background remarkably well. There's no obvious blurring around the edges of the creature either, which indicates that this may in fact be authentic, unedited footage. Have you checked your home security cameras? You'll want to after seeing this video. Published to the Chills Narrator subreddit by SirPenguin09, the Redditor explains that everyone was at the hospital visiting his cousin on June 22nd. No one was home, but when they checked their security footage, this is what they found. The clip shows a blur of something walking past. While the visual isn't clear, it's definitely a human figure. Sir Penguin goes on to say all doors were locked, all windows were safeguarded, and that no other security cameras around the house caught any movement. So if this is a person, how did he get in? And if not, how will this Redditor get him out? Many in the comments are just as perplexed as Sir Penguin, but Redditor Too Low 40 sums it up best, writing, Ghost or Home Invader, the thought of whatever this is walking through your home is absolutely terrifying. A haunted coffee shop? Never heard of such a thing. But that's what YouTube team The Haunted Side are investigating in Virginia City, Nevada. Their investigation opens with a subtle sound. Um, heard that. The spirits then respond to the team's requests via their paranormal devices. Can you touch that little box right there on the bar? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Just like that. Look. Look. It's right. What the f is that? 
The unexplained noises continue. No. Something made a noise right before I did that. And in the kitchen, they hear a whisper or a breath. It sounded, it sounded like a voice. The voice is heard again, louder this time, but it's unclear what it's saying. Is that you? As they're looking on a thermal camera, more unexplained noises resound. And now it's like over by the door and gone. Whoa. What? And a voice. That's the first voice I've heard come through there. Next, Patrick feels something touch his neck. That, gotta put the camera down for a second. Ooh. Something like. Not, not a scratch per se, but like. And just as he's about to speak, the spirits clink their glasses. Where are you right? Ooh. What was that? The noises don't end there. What the f is that? Then a bunch of his tech acts up on its own. I'm holding it down, the SLS closed. The full spectrum camera shut off. That was rolling. Is the IR light on? It opened back up on its own. What is happening here? As he's trying to figure it out, another clinking sound is heard. That is... What the f The spirits is even taking requests now. Can you make a noise like that again, please? Whoa! Whoa! And then denying them. What the f is that? In my opinion, despite the ambient noise throughout the clip, there are too many mysterious sounds in this place to deny that it's haunted. But all I'm wondering is, if this spirit serves up a decent cup of boo brew. In 2009, a paranormal research group was tasked with investigating ghost sightings at a cemetery in Tampa Bay. They review weeks worth of footage and uncover some weird things caught on camera. They think this video is paranormal because an odd light goes behind a marker, placing this object, be it a ghost, an orb, or whatever you want to call it, somewhere behind the fence. Therefore, it's not a bug or a dust particle moving up close, though it could simply be edited. The ghost hunters claim to record the spot for three more weeks before any other paranormal evidence is caught on video. This time, their camera picks up a shadow figure moving off screen, along with some kind of ethereal mist blanketing this area that does not look like normal fog. It happens at the same time a car drives by, so I'm hoping this shadow figure is just caused by passing headlights. Otherwise, this video might be as paranormal as they say. It's well documented that creatures in the deep ocean are mysterious and terrifying, but will not often cross paths with such creatures due to the depths they inhabit. However, rarely do we imagine what the muddy waters of our rivers are hiding. Published by Kiwi TV on YouTube in April of 2016, this river in China is hiding something frightening. Marine life that looks partly hippo, partly dolphin, partly crocodile, and wholly terrifying was caught on camera while being poked and prodded by a garden tool. The large river dwelling creature doesn't move much while being examined, nor does it appear to see much, as it seems not to have eyes. An anonymous YouTuber suggests it's a type of river dolphin. However, it doesn't look much like the Baji, a river dolphin that was believed to have gone extinct in the early 2000s. While that sighting was not altogether confirmed, this additional footage may suggest the aquatic mammal is, in fact, alive, though the population has been shrinking since the 80s. The Baji appear to have a longer and narrower bill, while the strange one caught in this video features a wider bill, no eyes, and lots of body splotches and patches. Is this a deformed Baji? If not the Baji, what other type of aquatic creature might this be? A YouTuber from San Antonio, Texas, named Dylan James TV records a deep moan that fills the night sky. Take a listen and give me your best guess as to what this mysterious noise could be. I hope you can hear that. 
After a while, it grows closer and louder until the sound breaks directly overhead, yet nothing is visible. <laughs> What's especially strange is the comments for this video. Other people from as far as Florida admittedly claim to have heard this exact same noise. Apparently it happens for 5 minutes at a time, at which point it stops as abruptly as it began. Better do it just to be safe. Published by Scary Chills G, this short clip was captured in May of 2010. A man is on his computer facing his webcam, when behind him on the bed, his jacket moves. As he turns to look, suddenly his wardrobe bursts open on the other side. He springs from his seat and goes to check it out, seemingly finding nothing. He turns back toward his computer and then sprints from the room in fear, without further explanation. What did he see there? Or was he afraid of what saw him? All heard of the headless horseman, but have you heard of the headless errand boy? Published to YouTube in February of 2020, this clip will have you doing a double take. The clip shows what appears to be a man without a head in Asia carrying a shopping bag as if just running some errands. He walks out into traffic and slides between two cars to cross the street. No one around seems to notice the oddity. The fact that he's without a head phases no one. The car he cuts in front of even beeps loudly, just hurrying him to get out of their way. So are our eyes deceiving us? Or is this just some fancy edit? This one has me scratching my head. He has gotten into some crazy adventures in the past, but staying at this abandoned factory until 3am is probably one of the wildest yet. Outside, he finds a collection of what could be someone's belongings out in the forest, but decides to continue anyway. As soon as he puts his camera down to climb inside, he hears this noise. which I think sounds like a door being slammed as hard as possible. When he finally comes across an entrance, he finds the door has been kicked hard many times, like somebody leaves this way every day. Though to be honest, the footprints look to be about his shoe size, so maybe it was him. On the floor are dried red stains and a massive red streak across the wall that I think is paint, or at least I hope so. And that's when he hears it again, the same sound as before. Door and this. Like, what the f Someone's kicking doors open. Do they know he's here? Soon he comes across more red stains, but I think it's almost definitely paint considering the red wall has a similar streak on it as well. He's exploring various old burned out rooms. When it comes back, the same noise as before. Guys, that was loud as f Two bangs coming from opposite sides. He must be surrounded. The fact that Hype Mike is not taking off by now makes me think this almost has to be fake, and this explanation is really unlikely. What the f that was? Maybe it was like a bird or something. But just when I started to doubt this video, this really strange sound plays. This doesn't sound like the wind to me, especially how it ends, but tell me what you think it is and if it's paranormal. What the f Hype Mike makes it to nightfall without hearing any further noises. Maybe it's gone for now, whatever it is. He's trying to figure out a place to get some rest and wait out the rest of the challenge, but that's when the noises start again. Yo! Something just moved in there. Hello? Something actually. The room where it came from is completely empty, but the complex is still occupied by something that has been waiting for the right time to strike, and that time is now. <laughs> 
hype Mike runs out of there fast, but makes the mistake of taking one last look. Do you think this is one of his friends or a person who's lost their mind? A YouTuber named Lanzo has a haunted ranch that he is afraid to visit. He knows at least one of the buildings is haunted because his uncle told him about a full conversation that he had with a strange man who said that he was a demon and then promptly and mysteriously disappeared right in front of him on the spot. Ever since then, the one acre property has been overrun with paranormal activity. Just from now, from that day and now on, it's always been like creepy for me and my cousins to come here at night. I heard something that was scared. I. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? He hears scary whispering voices haunting the woods nearby and quickly shakes the thought away. But I think I might have heard the whispering voices too, followed by other scary noises that may or may not have been the wind. It's 3 a.m. and as they approach, they can feel the paranormal energy feeding off of their fear. Their equipment refuses to focus on one paranormal hotspot, and they know it's because a ghost is haunting them. Right there. What the f what the f you guys? And I'm gonna impart. Their night vision and motion tracking paranormal equipment detect a super tall figure standing in the same place they felt was haunted, and it's making the dogs bark like crazy too. The animals are familiar with Lanzo, so I think these pets are having a ghost sighting of their own. There's a figure right there. The dogs aren't even facing them. Further evidence that something paranormal has their interest. Something's clearly back there. And even the horse seems to freak out as well. I feel sorry for all of the terrifying encounters that these poor animals probably have on a regular basis living on this haunted ranch. The horse begins moving frantically at 6 minutes and 58 seconds, and then they detect a ghost trying to climb some firewood to hitch a ride. The panicking animal sways back and forth to get away from the apparition, but to no avail. I don't know if this horse is freaking out over a ghost ghost sighting, or if it's just asking them for some food. This is a 3 a.m. video though, so I don't think the horse should be hungry. We noticed that there was a figure that was dancing with the horse like next to it. Like literally right there, you guys, like I'm getting the chills. I'm terrified right now. Behind this gate is where the dogs were barking at something, and that's when they get really scared because their paranormal equipment goes off again. I literally can't feel my feet, like. It's starting to detect something. Dude. They need to go around the building to see what's on the other side of the gate, but they hardly get a few steps before their camera goes out of focus. Over here. We're and in the woods, they hear a really weird voice, like laughter. When they consult their paranormal equipment for a translation, it interprets only one word. If there's anyone here with us, give us a sign. Goodbye. Oh my god, no. And it utters this phrase. A single ghost orb flies into them. I wouldn't be surprised if this ranch was haunted by skinwalkers after all. Skinwalkers are paranormal tricksters who will often haunt ranches built on ancient prairie lands. So with this in mind, a ghost sighting on this ranch would make sense. The Goat Man is a thing of urban legend. Something like a centaur, the goat-human hybrid is said to take refuge in the woods. Some say it's responsible for many missing dogs. Published by Hype Mike in March of 2021, this paranormal crew is in search of the mythical creature in Goatman Forest. Half of them rush back to the cabin after hearing something out in the forest behind them, as the other half continue on. A ginormous crash or something behind us, and we ran back to the cabin. <laughs> Wait, what? Something cracked right behind us. A huge tree or something. And we ride back to the cabin. They find red liquid in the snow. And I think we can all imagine what it might be. Did some animals have a scuffle? Or was it something else? After being scared off by the roaring, 
the crew comes upon some even more scary evidence that something's gone wrong. This doesn't look like an animal's doing. Was it some ritualistic sacrifice? I mean, I guess. Like, there's like blood on the tree and shit. Ew, what the heck? Deeper in the forest, they hear the spine tingling howl. Uh, hello? Repeat that? Did you hear that? And once they gather together again, they realize an axe has gone missing. Did the goat man take it? The crew decides to invite the goat man to the party with this chant, and they really shouldn't have. Okay. Ready? Ready? Goat man, goat man, we, we offer, offer our blood, blood to you. Please, please accept and show, show yourself to me. Is that it? Later, while they're chilling at the cabin, one of the crew hears something. Nickname? Uh, I hear something really freaking creepy, and I just need to know if you guys can hear that. No, I, well, I didn't hear anything. You mean, well, we're inside. Yeah. Uh, we do not hear anything over. Oh. Then they see something outside. What is it? Although I'd wager it being the goat man, we currently don't know for sure. What's up? What's what? What? Do you see that? No. See what? Outside. Oh, wait. What the f is that? Turn the light off. Do you see What's that? When searching for ghosts in a haunted house abandoned in the jungle, be prepared to skip a step. This video posted to YouTube by Pratik Paul in July of 2015 purports to show a real ghost girl in Matharan, India. The beautiful stone building in this clip is surrounded by foliage inside and out. The guide informs his audience about the house. According to him, it's one of the oldest houses in Matharan built during an era when the East India Company ruled in India. A general in the East India Company lived here with his family, including his wife and kin. Although the general was a generous man, during the time of the revolution, the house was lit on fire by rebel villagers. The colonel and his family could not escape. Within 30 minutes, the house was up in flames. Some say you can hear the sound of footsteps within the haunted house, and it's a general rule that no one should enter after 5 p.m. The crew is here at 5.30, hoping to capture on camera the ghosts that are said to haunt the place. After feeling unsettled by something, the camera whirls around and cries out that something is there. You can't see anything in the thick surrounding foliage. Although the cameraman states he saw a shadow, the other guy notes that it's just a cat, man. But then again, he says something feels wrong. The cameraman zooms in on a window opposite, and a figure with black hair can be seen there. One of the men says they heard a sound. That's when they decide to book it out of there and fast. What I that? Sound, guys, I heard a sound right now. Okay, let's, let's leave. leave. Let's, let's leave. leave. Well, some are quick to call fake on this one. YouTuber Science Classes is a little more relenting writing. If it's true, then I too want to see that spirit. Do you too? Count me in as well. A YouTuber named Matthew Van Hughes is enjoying nature when he hears a loud voice of someone who apparently isn't. Listen to this part and tell me if you can literally hear the word help being said because I think I can. The sound quiets down and then switches over to something far less human. Skeptics think that this is some kind of wild animal, but I think I can hear English being spoken here, but I can't tell what. Maybe the words don't take me. Let me know what you hear. When he gets to the bottom off the cliff, nothing is there. Matthew waits for an hour and doesn't hear anything else, so he leaves whatever it was to take their final breaths. This pair of Russian men took the lives of some of the most vulnerable amongst us, the homeless, and they did it so cruelly that they thought it was best to film their evil. The young men used hammers and knives, taking the lives of six homeless people in November of 2010. 
They ranged from the age of 12 to 69. One of the young men's uncle discovered the video on his nephew's camera, and the pair were subsequently arrested and charged for their actions in April of 2013. One was given 24 years and the other was sentenced to life. Neither sentence seems long enough. Ever wondered what goes on in a pharmacy late at night? Well, apparently it's wilder than you think. Egyptune published this creepy video in January of 2015. It's footage that will make you swear off pharmacies for a good long while. The green hue and flashing monitor on the desk are spooky enough to set the scene. Then the action begins. A white chair in the office starts to move all of its own accord, jerking to the left, then being lifted right up into the air before landing back down on the floor. It pulls slowly to the right, then yanks to the left again. A little later, something gaseous spurts out below, leaving black marks in the footage. Some in the comments of the video say this footage has been edited, or suggest the chair is being jerked around with strings. But maybe, just maybe, someone wasn't given the right prescription, and his ghost is seeking revenge. I, for one, hope he gets it. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.